10 Facts About the Sphinx Cat There are a variety of cats that you don't even know exist. For example, consider the Sphinx Cat. Now that you know that the Sphinx Cat exists, what else do you know about them? Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Top Best Pets, and today we're gonna talk about the Sphinx Cat. If you've never heard of them, then we're just gonna get right to it with a small introduction. The Sphinx Cat is a breed of cat whose main feature is the fact that they don't have any hair. Or do they? They actually are covered with hair, but it's really fine and downy that is said to be like peach skin. This cat has no whiskers or eyelashes, and their head resembles that of a Devon Rex. Their eyes are deep set and shaped like lemons. Their body is finely boned but muscular and barrel chested. The legs are long and slender and have a bow-legged appearance caused by the barrel chest. They also have a long tail that's tapering and hard to the touch. Their bodies are warm and soft and have earned the name Suede Hot Water Bottle. The skin is wrinkled on parts of the head, body, and legs but should be taut everywhere else. Pigmentation is clearly visible on the skin of the Sphinx Cat. All skin patterns and colors are acceptable. I'm pretty sure you're already interested because of the look and the name of the breed. And there are more facts coming, so make sure you watch till the end so you won't miss out on the good stuff. Also, we have a question for you in the middle of the video so we can see how good your memory is. But before we begin, you know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel, Top Best Pets, and if you're not, what are you waiting for? Smash the subscribe button right now and never miss out on any of our videos and hit the bell icon to stay notified of our new content. Now, let's finally get to know the Sphinx Cat. Number 10. Sphinx Cats Originated in Canada You'd think a cat whose point of origin is from the north would be furnished with a comfortable coat. In any case, the cutting-edge Canadian Sphinx, the bear variety we know in North America, has been challenging assumptions since the mid-1960s, when an Ontario cat brought forth a smooth cat, the after-effect of a characteristic genetic change that at that point during the 1970s, two separate arrangements of smooth cats were brought into the world to breeders in Toronto and Minnesota. Because of different breeding endeavors, their heredities brought the loving creature we know today. Let's not assume, though, that the Canadian Sphinx is the only bear cat out there. Comparative varieties exist and carbon copy cats have been accounted for in nations around the world. For example, the Sphinx has a doppelganger, the Donskoy, which is one breed in Russia. While they look almost indistinguishable, the Sphinx's absence of long hair is on account of a recessive gene, while the Donskoy's smoothness is the consequence of a dominant gene. Number 9. Sphinx Cats Aren't Actually Bald At first glance, the Sphinx may look less like a cat and more like a naked mole rat. On the off chance if you pet one, you'll find out that they're not actually bare. They're actually covered in a layer of really, really fine hair that's called vellus hairs. And while they're not extravagant to the touch, some people would compare their coats to calf skin. Number 8. Sphinx Cats Have Sensitive Skin Try not to slather sunscreen on your Sphinx every time it's exposed to sunlight. Yet remember, since it's not shrouded in a thick coat, a Sphinx's skin is more delicate than any other cat. And yes, they do get burned from the sun. Extreme heat or cold does affect them negatively. However, it is safe for them to go out, but they ought to be generally indoor cats. Number 7. Sphinx Cats Are Popular While pet breeders in America love textured cats like ragdolls, exotic shorthairs, Persians, and Maine Coons, Sphinxes are presently positioned as the ninth most mainstream cat breed in the nation, as per Cat Fanciers Association enrollment insights from 2019. Number 6. Sphinx Cats Are Friendly While they share a name with the Great Sphinx of Giza, Sphinx Cats are nothing similar to the apathetic sculpture. Instead, they're amicable, cherishing, and energetic creatures, so much that a recent report in the Journal of Veterinary Behavior positioned Sphinxes as the most friendly cat breed. For what reason are Sphinx cats so cordial? Experts have a couple of hypotheses. It could be because they depend on people to keep them warm, because more amicable cats may be chosen for breeding, or because breeders will in general leave Sphinx cats with their moms for longer time frames. As said earlier in the video, we would be asking you a question. So the question is, what kind of skin does a Sphinx have? Easy, right? Tell us the answer in the comment section below, and I hope you don't cheat. So let's take a look at the remaining five facts about the adorable Sphinx cat. Number five, Sphinx cats eat a lot. Have you ever seen a cat that eats a lot? Well, the Sphinx cat is a cat that eats a lot. It's all because of their quick digestion systems. Sphinx cats need more food than normal cats. 
Number 4. Sphinx cats have different patterns and colors. Even though sphinxes are quote-unquote exposed cats, their skin can change in shading and patterns. From tortoise shells to dark striped cats, you will undoubtedly discover a sphinx adaptation of some more long-haired cats. Number 3. Sphinx cats aren't hypoallergenic. In case you're a cat darling who's oversensitive or allergic to your number one creature, don't dish out cash for a sphinx cat. Despite tails, the breed isn't really hypoallergenic. Sphinxes actually produce Fel D1, the allergenic protein in cat spit and skin emissions that end up irritating your eyes. Number 2. Sphinx cats are warmer than most felines. Yeah, this is the fact that makes them different from other cat breeds. They're warmer than other felines by around 4 degrees. Number 1. Sphinx cats need a weekly bath. Think Sphinx kitties are super perfect since they have no hair at all? Reconsider. While your cat's coat probably won't be a magnet for dust particles and different substances, its skin actually creates oil. For most cats, the oil helps keep their hide smooth. Be that as it may, with Sphinx cats, it can frame an oily film over their bodies, which means their owners should give them week-to-week -week showers. Same goes for the ears. Since there aren't any hairs to hinder earth or dead skin cells from collecting inside the pits, owners need to consistently wipe them down with a washcloth or cotton ball to keep the ears clear. And now here's a bonus fact for you as an appreciation token for watching the video till the end. And since we gave you this kind of love, you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up, right? So the bonus fact for you, or fact number zero is... The Sphinx cat that played Mr. Bigglesworth in Austin Powers had a punny name. The main Mr. Bigglesworth in Austin Powers, Ted Nugent, was uncommonly trained for the movies, standing by for as long as 45 minutes all at once while entertainers shouted and actor Mike Myers petted him. It helped that he had been a show cat and was accustomed to having loads of individuals around, animal trainer Tammy Maples revealed to the Daily News. And furthermore, that he simply adored Mike Myers. Mike consistently set aside an effort to converse with Ted. It wasn't simply plunk down, move cameras. And when the movie producers required a Bigglesworth little cat for the spy who shagged me, they utilized Mel Gibskin. Afterwards, as a developed cat, Mel filled in as Ted's twofold. Well, with this, we've reached the end of our video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more interesting videos like this one, then make sure you stay subscribed and stay tuned to our channel, Top Best Pets, as we keep uploading amazing videos like these from time to time. See you soon. Take care.